Nitwittians, we got a cool video in store for you this evening. We got the HP Invictus. This is the TG02. It is the next TG in that line. This is a gaming PC. I This is the first time I've had my eyes on this. We have it right here. And uh, yeah, I just want to tell you what's going to be in store for this video. We're going to do an unboxing. We will go over all the ports, everything on here. We will measure to see how long of a graphics card can go in here. And we'll go over all the specs and the stats. We'll run a benchmark to see how well this thing uh, matches up against other PCs. And we will go into the BIOS and bloatware, and that's about it for this. And that's what's in store for this video, guys. All right, guys, let's get in this box and see what's under the hood. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and uh, slice her on, on open. And as soon as we open the box here, I'll show you guys what's in here. And you can see there's a keyboard and mouse. It's pretty neat. It's pretty common. It's going to be a generic uh, keyboard and mouse. If you're planning on gaming, I will show you guys this. I will show you in this box a little bit later in the video, but if you're planning on gaming, you're probably going to want to upgrade this. This is going to be the run of the mill, bottom of the scale keyboard and mouse. It's going to be like what I've showed on other HP videos. And then, of course, let's go and get this thing out of the box. Uh, there is no foam packaging, but this does. This stuff does look pretty thick. Uh, it's pretty uh, wholesome, so probably would keep it would keep the PC safe. We do have a bag full of goodies. We have a power cable. Let's see if we got any extra screws. We do have some extra screws. Good, good thing DHP is listening to us. So I could see we got some extra hard drive screws, and it looks like an M.2 screw, guys. Of course, our power cable, which we are not going to need because I already have one set up on set, but this is just a standard PC power cable. No other cables come with it. Of course, your warranty and, and a quick uh, setup guide is in there. If you're wondering, like, hey, how do I set this up? Go in that thing, and it'll walk you through how to plug every wire in. All right. Voila! Zing! Ta-da! Let's get under the skirt, guys. Ooh, it's kind of sexy. I like this white uh, color. Supposedly, you could change the lights on here, too, and it looks pretty cool. Wow, guys. Look at this. I'm going to have to spin this around for you guys, but look at this. This just, this is uh, HP. Good job. I mean, this is even like a silverish black. This is uh, pretty sexy looking. Even got the, the Core i5 labeling on the front. All right, guys, we're going to start from the front. This is your power button. This is uh, headphones, uh, and uh, this is a TRX4 jack. This can do headphones and um, a microphone. We have one, two, three, four USB 3.21s, and then a USB-C 3.5. These are five gigabit ports all on, on the front here. And coming around to the rear, the very top, we have our... We have our headset, an auxiliary line port, and a microphone. And then, of course, our 92 millimeter fan, which is in the rear here, unless they've changed the size, which I doubt they have. Our 10 1000 Ethernet port, and it looks like we have four USB uh, 3.0s in the rear. Of course, we have our we have our 1660 Super, which supports three monitors here. This is a DVI-D. We have an HDMI and a normal um, display port. Of course, our power supply, which is right here, which is supposed to be a 500 watt bronze power supply. And yeah, so of course you are gonna need either a flathead or a T15 Torx head. That's where this iFixit kit comes in. And we are gonna get under the skirt of this cool looking PC, guys. So go ahead and take this one off right here. If you wanna get into your case, pull straight back. And of course, as long as we don't have a DVD rom or anything funky like that, it should let us right in. Just pull straight back, and we're out. And that's the side panel off, guys. All right. So a couple specs about this guy. This does come with a, a 12th gen, Intel 12th gen i5, and that's going to be a, a six-core, six, 16, or sorry, six-core 12 threads processor. There is a 256 gigabit NVMe in here. That is not going to be enough for gaming. You're going to want to upgrade that. We will probably have... We will have a video on how to upgrade that later. Uh, the cool thing that you can't really see until I take these brackets off 
And you're gonna come and grab this T15 Turx right here. And I'm gonna get my uh, trusty dusty case out, or panel out, and we wanna pop this off. So this is kind of a hard thing, you rack it forward, and that comes out. You can set that off to the side, and that's how that pops out. Of course, to get this guy off, you have to pop these three tabs right here. This comes forward, and then if we look, there's a T15 Torx right here. Now this swings like a door when you take this on and off. Just be careful, there are some wires. So we're gonna kinda get this line back up. We wanna swing like a door back in, and you just wanna kinda, just make sure you're not pinching any wires, which you can see I'm kinda pinching the wire right there. Get that shoved back in there. Just make sure we line up. And there we go. Now that we uh, undid that, we can take this door and unsecure our extra uh, hard drive and, and SSD cables and power from here, and this should swing up. Actually, we're gonna have to keep this popped out, but it'll swing up and out, and that's out. And you can snap this back in, and that's to bolt the cages out. So guys, as you can see, we can see inside the PC here, we do have dual channel RAM, which is good job, HP. Uh, and I'm just gonna double check that this is our 500 watt power supply. It is a 500 watt power supply. It looks like they did come out with a small form factor 500 watt power supply, guys. So I'm, we're gonna have a new model that we can stick in uh, the TG01. And if I look right here, this is the exact same bolt pattern that's in the TG01, TE, ME, NV, all those. So we're gonna have another uh, awesome power supply. It does look like they changed the, the seven pin cable a little bit. So we'll have to see if this matches up, but we'll, of course this will be for another video. It does look like it's just the normal seven pin P2 connector. And then it looks like we have two four pins that go up to the motherboard. It does look like they have an auxiliary four pin up here that's doing absolutely nothing. It's just stuck up top. Of course we have our Wi-Fi card right here and our M.2 card right here. And we do have one extra SATA port if you wanted to add another spinny disk or an SSD and then our GeForce 1660 Super. One thing I did notice, guys, is it looks like they moved the 1X PCI Express slot above the graphics card so you have access to it, which is kind of neat, especially if you want to do a capture card or something for streaming, you do have that availability. All right, guys, we're going to get this thing slapped back together, get it up and running, and let's run some benchmarks and take a look at the bullet wire. And uh, one thing I do want to make you aware of, I have not seen it in one HP that you could access XMP or DOCP. Uh, that is to allow you to overclock your RAM. So if you're looking for RAM to upgrade in this guy, you are looking for 1.2 volt RAM. You either want to order it from HP, or if you get it off of Amazon, you want to make sure it's 1.2 volt. It doesn't have to be any special cast latency. I've seen cast latency 16, 18, and 1.2 or 1.25. So guys, I'm gonna get this patch back up and we're gonna get this thing up and running and let's see what's uh, under the hood. Hey guys, we just got done running a benchmark and going through and looking at all the bloatware, figuring out how we got to do the RGB. So real quick here guys, I'm gonna show you how to do the RGB, change the color on the front here. So on your front panel, you're gonna have something called Omen Gaming Hood. Go ahead and click it. And it's gonna originally start on the home right here. You're gonna come down to Victus Desktop. And I'm gonna take a couple seconds to load. And then up here, you see where it says lighting. Click the lighting. And then of course you can change it to whatever color you want. Hit apply, like change it into red or green, or blue. The GPU size, since I didn't measure it while I had the size off, it can take a 10.5 eighths GPU, or that's 269.87 millimeters. Uh, there is DDR4 in here, two sticks of 3200 megahertz, uh, 2X eight gigabyte sticks. Let's check really quick to see if they are running at 3200. They are running at 3200 speed. Uh, there is a Wi-Fi 6 card in here, and it is a dual Bluetooth 2X2 card. And of course, let's get the bloatware, guys. So if, uh, I'm just going to come into the start menu here, and I'm going to type prog for program, add and remove programs. And then I'm not going to go through the list, but I will list everything off that I found. So you got McAfee. You got McAfee personal media. You also have WebAdvisor. You're going to want to get rid of those. Those things are horrible. I hate Cortana. This is bloatware that comes from Microsoft. And with only having 256 gig NVMe on here, you need the space. On to that, let's uh, talk about our benchmark scores really quick. So let's pull up our TimeSpy. This is TimeSpy DirectX 12 benchmark. We scored 6,255. And the graphics card that's in here is an NVIDIA GTX 1660 Super. Of course, it doesn't give us any estimated game performance because we haven't ran this a second time. 
But if we look, it gave us a GPU score, our first graphic score of 38.51 FPS and 33.79. This is going to be an awesome starter PC if you want to get this thing and upgrade it, throw a graphics card in it. This thing's going to be off to the races and you're going to be doing some awesome gaming. If you watch my other TG videos, this is the same thing, it's just a little, little bit longer. You can do the fan upgrades and the GPU upgrades that I do in the other videos. And I'm gonna be pumping away to see if I can do some heat sink upgrades in this thing to see if we can get you a little bit cooler of a PC. Um, other than that, guys, this thing can boost to 4.4 gigahertz, um, which is pretty neat. And it has 18 megabytes of L3 cache. Um, other than that, you do see that they cut, the only thing that's kind of neat about the keyboard and mouse is that they're white, other than being black. They are still low and bottom of the mill gaming keyboard and mouse. This is not gonna be a DPI adjustable mouse. If you're playing first person shooters, throw this thing in the garbage. It's not gonna do you well. Um, but as you can see here, I got everything out on the table that does come in the box. These do not come in the box. This is separate. So I just want you to know that. And of course the pen and paper don't come with it either. <laughs> All right guys, one last thing I'm gonna do before we close off this is we are gonna get into the BIOS and let you guys see what it looks like. Uh, I don't think there's really going to be worthwhile anything in there. I don't think you'll be able to enable or disable XMP or DOCP, but uh, we will check just for completion sakes, guys. We got the BIOS menu up. What you're going to do is shut the computer down, and once you do, start tapping your escape key and hit the power button. That's going to bring your BIOS menu up. So this is like a utility driver menu that you see right here. If you got a keyboard that has an FN key, you're going to hold FN. Go ahead and hit F10 so you can enter the BIOS. It's only going to let me use the left and right arrow. So we can come here and look at main. Doesn't look like there's anything. Uh, looks like we do have TPM stuff. Some device security, USB security, slot security, configuration. We got language. It does have virtualization technology. Um, device options, integrated video. You can enable and disable that there. Thermal. Uh, it doesn't look like you can actually change the thermal stuff. Uh, UEFI, HII configuration, and it looks like that's your Opteram configuration for different cards that are in there. Uh, so it doesn't look like XMP or DOCP is even touchable in here. Uh, it just looks like, yeah, that's pretty much, there's nothing really you're gonna ever touch in here unless you're checking on like drives or stuff that you've put on here and they're not showing up or something weird like that. But uh, yeah, guys, this is the Victus in a nutshell. And we are done with the review and unboxing of this thing. I'm gonna give it two thumbs up of approval. I really do like these little HP computers. They are at a good price point and if you can get them on sale, it is an awesome starter computer. They're upgradable. They're not fully upgradable, but they're you know upgradable enough for gaming and maybe light content, medium content creation. Um, other than that, guys, I'm Tech Nitwood, and I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Anyways, guys, I'm out, y'all.